Portugal to the Indy in Brazil. A weekly show by Geisa Fernandes. Episode 14 Sometimes it's really not about you. Learning how to collaborate with other musicians. If you, my dear listener, are following this podcast episode, you might have asked yourself, I think we've got some delay here and you are totally right. But I assure you there are two very good reasons for this little delay. Just check it out. Reason number one. It's carnival in Brazil. I don't know what it means to you. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about. But here it means it's really loud everywhere. And since this weekly show is recorded on a home studio, today was literally the first opportunity I have to talk to you without having a cheerful yet quite annoying samba batucada background. And now you might be thinking, but that would have been lovely, Geisa. Oh, you innocent, so you don't know what you're wishing for. Take my word. And even if it would have been better for you, it would have been very bad for me, because I'm not able to join this annoying yet very cheerful crowd. And why not? Why not? You might ask. Because sometimes we have to make choices. I have a gig coming on the following weeks, and this was the time I had for taking care of production details. That includes do I have enough money for a hairdresser? Or do I have money for a photographer? Is there any video recording involved? When can I meet the technician for the sound and light? So, This kind of thing. Apart from that, I have another gig in the US in a couple of months, all right. But since producing a gig from abroad takes more time and the distance makes everything a little bit more difficult, then you will understand why this time I just had to take Carnival out of my personal calendar. No regrets at all. But because of different time zones, I had to have to talk to the musician during the time where I usually record the podcast. And now we come to reason number two, why this episode is coming a little bit late. You might have not noticed, but my friend Vanessa, singer from Brazil, she did. And she said she loves the episodes. So, dear Vanessa, thank you very much for your feedback. And I really hope you find this talk about collaborating with musicians from abroad at least helpful. So let's get started. If you are an indie musician, you probably thought at least once, wow, it would be really great playing with some dudes from outside my local scene. And maybe you're even a big thinker. And outside your local scene can also mean for you musicians from abroad, from other country than yours. You don't really know how to make the first steps to start an international collaboration. Well, fear no more. Dear Indifferent from Brazil is here to help you. Three steps and satisfaction guaranteed. Working for me will definitely work for you. Step number one, make the opportunity happen. Answer the following question. Do you have a friend, former college pal, or relative living abroad? You do? Well, then you're missing the opportunity. Personal contacts abroad are the best way to start a professional contact abroad. We might be talking here about that very cool vinyl shop right around the corner of your cousin's place. Or maybe your high school exchange program family can help you telling if any interesting places had popped up in the region lately. Just some ideas, you got the picture. Let's say you're not included in that group. You don't know folks abroad. Are you also missing an opportunity? Well, maybe. For just like me, you might have some kind of professional activity, non-music related professional activity, I mean, that requires a trip from time to time. 
This was, for instance, my case. Some of you might remember that I am a researcher for visual arts, especially comic art. I am affiliated to an association that meets once a year, always in a different place. Learning how to make things in advance. Remember that talk about time management? I decided to take this year's meeting, that's going to be in the US. And remember we are talking about a non-music related activity? That requires traveling, by the way. Becoming a music-related activity. Okay, very nice, very nice. But what does it mean? And that brings us to step number two. Do your homework. Let me repeat it for you. Do your homework. Okay, back to my example. I checked the conference venue. Then I checked for music places in the surroundings. Then I shortlisted some of those places and then tried to find information about those venues, social network, internet pages, etc., etc. You find a nice, respectable place to play great. Now go and contact them. How? Well, this is the kind of information you're going to find on their web page or social network page. An email, a phone number, whatever they say, you just try it, wait for a couple of days. And if you don't get a reply, don't panic, just wait a couple of days. Then let's say that you tried the contact form on the web page. You can now try to contact them through social network. But please remember, nothing pushy, they say, hello team, I just wanted to confirm that the following address is the correct one for contact with you. It works beautifully, trust me. What brings us to step number three? You've done your homework, you've found a place, you've contacted the team, they reply to you, and the answer was yes. Happy end? Sure, it's always a happy end when the answer is yes. But the end of phase one. And now, the real game starts. You might be a lone ranger musician just like me. That means you have to find your musicians there. So go back to step one and do your homework again. If this is not your case, you are part of a band, you're all traveling together, okay then just jump to the final trip. But if you're still following me here, that means that you need musicians. And how is homework this time? Back to my example. I made a small research on music, schools, uh, university programs, anything related to the sort of uh, genre I play, in this case jazz, close to the gig place. And depending on how lucky you are, some of them might even have information online, I mean websites, music videos, any kind of material that made it possible for you to check if the connection with the person works or not. I know it sounds a little bit vague now, but I also know you got me right. Then basically you follow the same procedure, you follow for the venue, that is, Finding contact information, establishing contact and then showing the person that you took a time to listen to his or her work. We all like compliments, right? And giving a nice yet honest appraisal for a colleague's work is the best way to break the ice. Think about on how you feel when people show some knowledge about your work. Establishing a conversation is then much easier. I know I gave you a lot to think this time, so that's why I shall bid you farewell and leave you with the final treat that will have a bit of a carnival taste. From the great master Assis Valente, Uva de Caminhão is the title of our final treat today. Thank you very much for following me, and remember, create the opportunity, do your homework, establish contact, and start as soon as possible, your international collaborations. And if you are really, but I mean really, really lucky, you will also find an amazing musician willing to work with you. For you, Tim Carrig, 
my special thanks. Thank you very much for your enthusiasm, your spirit of adventure, and your kindness. You already have a special place in my story. So, my dear listener, till next week, and for now, um beijo! Chupando muita uva e até de caminhão E agora anda dizendo que está de apendicite Vai entrar no canivete, vai fazer operação Vai que que tem a flores bela na chaveira dela Anda dizendo que ganhou a flauta de bambu Abandonou a batucada lá na praça 11 Foi dançar o pirulito lá no Grajaú Caiu o pano da cuica em boas condições Apareceu branca de neve com os sete anões E na pensão de dona Estela foram um farriar Quebra, quebra, gabiroba, quero ver quebrar Já me disseram que você andou pintando o sete Ou chupando muita uva e até de caminhão E agora anda dizendo que está de apendicite Vai entrar no canivete, vai fazer operação Ai, que que tem a flores bela na escadeira dela Anda dizendo que ganhou a flauta de bambu Abandonou a batucada lá na praça 11 Foi dançar o pirulito lá no Grajaú Você no baile dos 40 deu o que falar Cantando seu cara muro, bota o pajé pra dançar Tira, não tira o pajé, deixa o pajé farriar Eu não te dou a chupeta, não adianta Já me disseram que você andou pintando o set Tô chupando muita uva e até de caminhão E agora anda dizendo que está de apendicite Vai entrar no canivete, vai fazer operação Ai, que que tem a flores bela nas cadeiras dela Anda dizendo que ganhou a flauta de bambu Abandonou a batucada lá na praça 11 Foi dançar o pirulito lá no Grajaú Show by Geisa Fernandes. <laughs>